I have everything's been washed really well and I've put them into different pots here with some water and two tablespoons of white vinegar. I tend to let everything just kind of sit there for about a half hour to get a real good cleaning. Then I'll rinse it off really, really well. And then I do the same process again. And then the second time I use actually some salt water. Um, and again, it's about two tablespoons of salt um, per pot here. And then we'll just let everything soak real good and then give everything a great um, rinsing off and drying off just to ensure that there aren't any um, bug eggs or anything like that on any of our stuff here. All right, well, we'll be back in a little bit. All right, so I'm back. Here I have all my herbs nicely washed. They went through the process of, um, you know, a, a bath in a pot with some cool water and some salt and then gave them a rinse and then did it again with about um, a tablespoon of white vinegar. Just to be sure everything is fresh and clean right out of the garden. And now I'm getting these ready. Um, not so much this um, plate here, um, because a lot of the stuff I have here I'm gonna be utilizing uh, tonight. Um, but I'm going to also utilize some of the green tops in tonight's dinner. But I'm gonna dehydrate these. Uh, the cilantro, some of this I'm gonna be using for tonight's dinner as well. Um, and the dill and all the rest of the stuff is gonna go into the dehydrator, which I got right behind me getting set up here. So I will be back in just a moment after I get that dried off and ready to go into the dehydrator. Okay, so I layered everything um, layer by layer into the dehydrator here. And so I have about three layers of the onions, two layers of the dill, and then one layer of the cilantro here. I have it on medium setting and it's on and it'll work um, and do its magic for about uh, five, six hours. You get everything nicely dehydrated. Once it's all dehydrated, then I'll go through and slide the dill off the stem and slice up the onion tops there. And then we'll do another little clip on that. So hang tight, we'll see you in a few hours. Okay, we are back. Thank you for hanging in there. Um, on the last video, or posting, however you want to call it, um, I was going through the process of dehydrating my herbs. So I have a um, little container here. Isn't this so cute? I got this on Amazon and it came with all the little labels here. Um, it was a case of like 24 of them, but I can post the link um, on there for you. But we got our dill all dried here. We did other herbs, but I just wanted to go over with the dill. And with this, basically just, now that it's dry, we're just gonna peel it off here. We'll do this here. And it, you know, it dried everything about, um, how long did I do it about? Seven to eight hours. I just kind of put everything in the dehydrator and just kind of let it go. Let me tell you, the house smelled so good. I just kind of peel the little, the little leaves off the stem here. And that is it. I've got quite a bit of it here. So I'm gonna get this all peeled up and then we'll get our jars here filled and then we'll come back to that in just a moment. Okay, so here we go. I still have quite a bit more dill to separate here and I pulled out a whole side of it. Um, I'm actually gonna make a stew today because it is raining everywhere. And um, so I'm adding a lot of that to our stew. Um, the, this guy here, you know, <laughs> I actually, um, used up a lot of it in cooking uh, the last yesterday and then the evening before when I had harvested everything. So not a whole lot in here, but you know what? That's okay because we'll be getting that filled up again. And then our cilantro here, if you recall, we did harvest some of that as well. So just a little bit of everything. Um, you can utilize your herbs fresh as I had the last couple days, or you can dehydrate, dry them out, and then you have them for use later on if you're not gonna use them right away. Hey everybody, I appreciate you hanging out with me and seeing a whole different side of what you can do with your herbs. Please don't forget to subscribe, please hit that like, and I'm gonna catch you on the next video.